Hey, soul siblings, it's Shay Seeking again, and this is Not Your Mama's Bible Study, along with a little bit of his stories, lies. So again, um, we're going to go ahead and keep doing what we're doing here um, for as long as I guess I can. Um, okay. All right, this won't go. Okay. Um, so um, I just wanted to point out here that several times uh, the Simpsons, again, people are going to think it's a joke or it's some kind of theory because people have seen this or it has come across on this uh, cartoon. See, this is what they want you to do is to doubt things because of what or where you've seen it, not what it's really just about. So we're looking at this dude right here. I'm guessing somebody's saying that this is an older um, uh, episode. Um, I haven't checked it out for myself. Um, so again, you can do that if you would like. Um, but this is supposed to be representing this dude right here. Okay. Now we can all see that he has the tattoos in the same place, all this and that. Could this be something that has been rigged up and made? Could be, but let's keep going. <laughs> so then they have this stuff right here. Somebody, one of my soul siblings shared this picture here. Um, talking about, uh, get the, steal the look. Um, so we can see that this person has been turned into some sort of, uh, of course, you, it's hard to find him on YouTube, but you can possibly find some leftover footage on Facebook. Uh, seems like there has been a split between the two. I wonder if this has something to do with what was going on with all that stuff. Okay. So again, it seems like even with the, with the uh, Blake thing, it took off nationwide, but first they hit you with it on Facebook right they know where we at okay so anyhow um it's it's all used <laughs> um they're acting out something i always say the world is a stage but at the same time the things that they are doing produce an outcome <laughs> so whether it was a staged event or not the outcome is real as hell so this is why we need to pay attention to what's going on in the luminaries or in the heavens that is the hierarchy that's whoever is they putting in front of your face at this point in time through the media newspaper books biblical your spirit how i look at people things like this you have to just be a world with chaos it's like chaos really but it's really not because it's a very peaceful feeling within this is why people think that you're fear mongering but you're at the most peace you've been in your life and you're um, at a certain level of understanding that it feels very uh uh protected and showered with a, a certain energy um so again we're going to keep on going with this so no matter what they're doing or what they think they can do to me again the flesh is just that okay so um, we'll look here and see where it says, um, I considered, okay, this is Daniel three and eight. I considered the horns and behold, there came up, uh, among them, another little horn before whom there was three of the first horns plucked up by the root. Okay. Um, now this is also, uh, reminding me of um, another coat of arms, right? Um, <clears throat> another coat of arms of somebody right now. Uh, maybe we'll go back to that. <clears throat> and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man and a mouth speaking great things. Okay. Um, now let's see, are there, are there any insight on the, da, 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 whatever, whatever. Oh, now this, this is here. So I can't really see, um, wondering about the plausibility of the horns, uh, being the king of the South, um, North and East in Daniel, um, 1145, uh, whatever, whatever. Okay. So we just want to focus on this part. So what I'm trying to say is this is like a sign, right? This is like a sign, but lo and behold, there is probably another candidate or somebody that was in power that had been taken out. You see? Okay. So, um, even if we look at, 
uh, shoot. Even if we look at Trump. Oh, 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 or, okay, never mind. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay, this is reminding me of a coat of arms, and we're going to look at it in a second, okay, because it, it comes back around to this, okay? So then it says, um, while I was thinking about the horns, there, be, there, uh, there before me was another horn, a little one, which came up among them, and three of the first horns were uprooted from it. OK, um, this horn had eyes like the eyes of a human being in a mouth that spoke boastfully. So I'm thinking that this person is a character. See, because they keep calling them actors in the media. I wonder if this is some type of character that is representing that on the spiritual realm or trying to reach those who may be able to pick up something from what you've pictured when you were reading the bible or it just might be a sign like i said a sign or a symbol of something that is to come and the something that is to come may represent or give a heads up as to who would be coming into power or who just lost power in in that moment okay but so what i'm saying is they're always dealing with your conscious subconscious they're always uh dealing with uh, uh different things to trigger different things um, with, with this, with, with these, uh, signs and wonders, right. That we're going to see in the heavens. And those are the signs and wonders that have been keeping us distracted when we are so-called worshiping idols, um, American idols. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, and they're using witchcraft and sorcery in order to keep you in a certain state of mind. Okay. And we've been in that mind, but some of us were plucked up again, <laughs> In, in reference to that, uh, spiritually, out of whatever we were living in, in order to sound the horn. Do you get kind of what I'm saying? Because trumpet, Trump does mean trumpet in German in some other language, okay? So um, let's go ahead and look at a couple things that have something to do with this. So we, we're looking at this here, image. The executive branch, the legislative, or the judicial, okay? And as well as in the Three banking branches. cartels. So all over you know, the globe... And countries are occupied by okay so apologies i'm gonna let i'm gonna let it play but then again just like he just said three branches okay or something about these three branches um and i'm just wondering what could this also be meaning okay i'm, I'm listening carefully to what he's saying here the branch the legislative or the judicial okay and as well as in the banking cartels so all over the globe Countries are occupied by central banking institutions that loan the government money at it. And I'm going to tell you one more thing. If you look at Imhoff, who is Camilla's husband, I just noticed something about his coat of arms. Hopefully we'll see it in this video. Um, and is saying something about in the 15, 14th and 15th century with his bloodline um, having something to do with merchants or something to do with trading, right? Okay. So if the harvest is ready, <laughs> I mean, if the, if the, uh, if the earth is ready for the harvest, then what? Is this them cutting you off? Or is this us ready to cut ourselves off from everybody else like they did us and go back to whatever it was and go back to living with Christ consciousness forever? Because people are thinking some man is going to come here and sit on the throne. Yeah, there may be a man, but it's going to be somebody in the government that is going to sit somewhere in a house See, sitting in a house or a a, a a throne or a, um, do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and that's going to represent the part of the system. But then again, are we going to be in a certain frame of mind? Is there something going to come in and stop this, this thing, them from trying to stick us with the sharp sickle? There's going to be some stuff going on in the next couple of months. <laughs> And longer, but I'm just saying to be paying attention to interest. And this enables them to own all the other socioeconomic and geopolitical gears in the country. OK, and then what they do is they use their billions or trillions of dollars to create a bunch of deep underground bases where they have all this like to highly top secret technology going on. OK, and they are like figuring out how to do things like create infinite energy or do things like anti-gravity technology or inertia propulsion. They're learning how to do things like uh, cloning and all sorts. And Nikola Tesla or whatever his name is, 
um, I think Trump's father or grandfather ended up being one of the people that got a hold of some of his paperwork that he had hundreds and hundreds of files in his place or whatever um, that he, he ended up getting his hands on. And I believe that um, Trump ended up getting his hands on some too. But I also think that that might even be a fam. There might be some kind of f uh, familial contact or connection between uh, Tesla and uh, Trump two, if I'm not mistaken. But what he's saying right here, because he's dressed like this and because he's, he's looked at as this uh, conspiracy and this supporter of this person, people are going to automatically think that he's some kind of fool, but he's playing a part and they know exactly who he is. And that's why he's sitting in front of the camera talking to you right now. Do you understand? If they, if it was not, um, if, if it was just a random, it's never just a random person off the street, no matter what you think. That's all I'm saying. Okay crazy stuff okay this is like a global takeover they're trying to create a new world order right they're trying to create a one world government that means there's like over 180 countries involved in all this stuff mm -hmm. where they're monopolizing all the resources all the labor in the country through the central banking system okay and that enslaves the whole country through debt to whoever owns a central bank all right mm -hmm. now as they're researching all this stuff, as they're, you know, all this R&D, they're covering it up through top secret security clearances and through blackmail in the government, in the media, in entertainment and stuff like that. So that the truth about these technologies never gets out. And they use these people like a smoke screen for all this other stuff that's behind the scenes. And this is going on all over the wor world. OK, the Swiss Alps are made like Swiss cheese with these freaking underground bases. OK, the United States has over like seriously that represents them hiding in the rocks okay you understand he got these bricks on his arms for freemasonry possibly you understand that that tree of life right there that he have on his chest and whatever i don't know what this is right here at the bottom maybe somebody else um would, would be able to interpret 150 that. 200 of these things and that's small compared to some countries okay some countries are so deeply infiltrated you can't move but 100 miles in any direction and you got a deep underground base okay and he also has something with three uh three or a trinity or three pyramids on his chest okay now i want you to know what's here what's going on is how they're trying to turn this in th these types of media things talking about radical see and it's funny how his name is jake right so here we have another jake and we also has his name is angel lee okay so you know just just notice how they're doing things like this described as a coup Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and cut that off. Um, and then we're just going to go back here. And then I will read to you what we're seeing right here in Daniel chapter 7. Um, hopefully it's quick because I do have to get up and cook. But I am just want to go ahead and lay this out. Because you've heard people say something about Trump being Cyrus. See? Um, or um, something about... And I've, I've done a video on Daniel's... Uh, uh, dream because it was talking about something that was going to be coming right okay so we look here in the first year of belshazzar king of babylon daniel had a dream and a vision of his head upon his bed then he wrote in the dream and told the sum of the matters okay so hold on one second all right so here we we, we, we also see daniel 8 I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn before him whom there were. Now, a horn could be that microphone that they had sticking out in front of his face. OK, because, again, you, you know, it's on the horn, you know, call somebody on the horn. It's like a microphone or a whatever or, you know, whatnot. But then we're talking about here before whom there were three of uh, let's see, three of the first horns uh, plucked. Now, again, okay, there could have been also three of these types of people that came. But you see what happened with this? They saying that this guy was at all the rallies, okay? Um, and I think he was even arrested. So, again, could this represent that as well, okay? See, something is being played out right in front of your eyes, but you've been given a false perception or notion, so you can't follow it. And those of us that remember are the ones that are in that consciousness that is awake that is going to be what they call prophesying or dreaming dreams and all of these things.
okay and behold in this horn were two eyes like the one um and the point i want to make is um that the horn were like eyes like the eyes of a man see and a mouth speaking great things you see what i'm saying okay so let's go back here and it says daniel um seven and two daniel spake and said i saw in my vision by night and behold the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea okay so these winds are doing something in the heavens right okay and the four great beasts came up from the sea all right so these are uh, uh what we would call as an originally these are um foreigners okay these are foreign entities or they are from a foreign nation right okay um it says uh came up from the sea diverse one from another so they're all different okay also could this be representing the four main players in these whole um the Senate and all the stuff that's been going on here, okay? And it says the first was like a lion and had eagle, eagle's wings. Well, I'm not going to take the time here because I didn't pick it, but if you want to go and look up Donald Trump's coat of arms, I think he has one for America. He has one for another place. I think they said he stole somebody's. That was a big thing that was in the media when he first came in and something else, but you'll see what, what it might look like here, okay? And I'm just telling you what, from my opinion, it does, doesn't mean that it is, Okay. I beheld to the wings, therefore were plucked, okay? Because I think he went and tried to go get something done with the throne, with uh, uh, Britain, and they told him no, and they rejected him. And the way they worded it was like the cornerstone that was rejected, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I did a video on it already, okay? So you will have to uh, go back and look at that. I beheld to the wings, therefore were plucked, um, and it was lifted up from the earth. So this person um, was lifted up from the earth. So they took them out of, you know, uh, uh, a, a, a tree, a family tree that would have probably had roots here in America. Do you see what I'm saying? Prior to colonization. Okay. All right. Um, and it says that, um, and, and we, uh, let me mind you that uh, Christian Trump is one of Trump's family members, either of, of his father, his uncle, something. And, um, you know, uh, there is a book out and I can't remember what it's called, but um, it talks about uh, uh, Abaddon, okay, uh, fighting up against Christian, okay? Um, and it, it's like a dragon beast looking thing, fighting a man with a shield or something like this. Um, in the Pilgrim something book, I can't remember right now, okay? Um, and it says that, um, and made to stand upon his feet as a man, okay? Also, you'll notice on one of them coat of arms, that I think the lion was doing something at one point in time, but then the lion is now standing up, okay? This is why I came up with looking at that, okay? And a man's heart was given to it, okay? And it said, and behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. Uh-oh, okay. Um, this one was like to a bear and it raised itself um, off one side and it had three ribs in its mouth. And I think that this represents Russia, if I'm not mistaken, or Calif uh, California. It, it was something. I've already done the video on it. I just can't remember because I'm kind of in a rush right now. I hear commotion upstairs um, and it says of it between the teeth of it. OK, the ribs in between the teeth of it. Um, and I think that was a recent video that I did with the bear with the ribs. OK, Um and they said thus unto it, arise, devour much flesh. So again, th this thing, oh, I'm, do I'm doing a video. 